Many vaccines, including the current vaccines for COVID-19, come in small bottles with more than one dose of vaccine inside of them. These multi-dose vials are accessed multiple times to vaccinate multiple people with a fresh needle and fresh syringe every time. Using multi-dose vials safely helps ensure they don't become dirty and possibly harm people. That's why it's really important to follow injection safety steps and instructions from the vaccine maker when using a multi-dose vial. Here are 10 injection safety steps to remember when working with multi-dose vaccine vials. However, depending on the vaccine, the vaccine maker may recommend additional steps, so be sure to check before starting. Step 1. Always prepare multi-dose vial injections away from patient care spaces in a designated clean area. Preparing multi-dose vials in a separate space helps ensure they are handled correctly and decreases the chance for mistakes. Step 2. Clean your hands before you touch the vial so that you don't get germs from your hands onto the vial because they could get inside the vial and contaminate the vaccine. Step 3. Check the label to make sure it is a multi-dose vaccine vial. If it's not, the vial should only be used once for a single patient. Next, confirm the vaccine is not expired. Expired vaccines may not work as well and should not be used. Step 4. Look and see if the vaccine appears the way the maker of the vaccine tells you it should. If it doesn't, or you're worried something has gotten inside the vial and made it dirty, don't use it. It could be contaminated. Step 5. Use a brand new sterile needle and brand new sterile syringe for every vaccine dose. Just using a new needle is not enough. You must use a new needle and new syringe because if the syringe is dirty or has been used, blood can get into the vial when you draw up the vaccine, even if it looks clean, risking the spread of viruses like hepatitis C or HIV. Step 6. Disinfect the top part of the vial, the vial stopper, with an alcohol prep pad every time. There are a lot of germs on the top of the vial. If it's not clean, then when you insert the needle into the vial, germs can get pushed into the vial, contaminating it so the vaccine inside can't be used. If it is used, those germs could be injected into patients and make them sick. Step 7. Let the top dry before sticking the needle in. This gives the alcohol time to kill any germs that may be on top of the vial. Step 8. The first time you put the needle in the vial, write the date and time it was opened on the label to help prevent the vaccine from being given to a patient beyond its use date. Step 9. Follow the vaccine maker's instructions for storage and for how long you can use the vaccine after you first access the vial, which varies by product. Beyond use or improperly stored vials must be thrown away. Step 10. Never pool doses. Combining partial doses from multiple vials to make one dose for a patient can increase the risk of germs or other stuff getting into the vaccine, which can make people sick. By following injection safety steps and vaccine maker instructions every time, you will help keep yourself, your colleagues, and your patients safe.